what's going on youtube back again uh, second video of the day um today or on this video i'm going to be discussing a little bit about my uh uh nfl tampa bay buccaneer uh game vapor limited and vapor limited player jerseys i will also be giving you the definition of what each jersey is what to expect when you're buying them size fitment all that good stuff i will try to remember at least because knowing me i have a horrible memory first and foremost cheers a toast to the tampa bay buccaneers because we're going to go back this year 2022 tom brady's going to take us one more time and yes, I'm going to go ahead and say it, because having Tom Brady back, ladies and gentlemen, obviously is a end-all, be-all for the Bucks. I'm trying to refrain from cursing. Whether you like us or not, the team was kind of in a position to win when he left. Kind of. I say kind of because we still had some key players, but we also still needed to re-sign some key players that we probably weren't going to re-sign unless Tommy Boy came back, which he did. And here we are sitting with damn near a squad, reloaded squad, ready to go, with the exception of a Rob Gronkowski and a couple other guys that we may need to pick up before the season begins, which, mind you, we're still about a good four and a half, maybe five months away. Not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is these jerseys, huh? And if you, if you watch any of my other re uh, recent videos, I just did a video on... Uh, uh, a couple of my draft hats. Eventually, I will try to get uh, videos on these uh, other hats that I have here other than my draft hats. Uh, so let's begin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom. <clears throat> this is not the first jersey that I've purchased. I've only purchased this jersey recently because I thought it would be cool to also have one of the older style Bucks jerseys. Not necessarily an older retro creamsicle jersey or even the older style uh, early 2000 looks when they won the first Super Bowl. To be honest, I, I, I want to get one, but it's not on the top of my to-do or to-get list. Um, but I did think it was really cool to get one of these, and also for the price that they had it up for on Fanatics. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Nike Vapor Limited Player jersey. Before I get into details of why it is named what it's named, let's just go ahead and take a look. This is an extra large. There's the jock tag. Sorry extra large there's the jock tag i have my camera sitting up there guys because there was nowhere else to fit it in in this closet for you to see what i wanted to show you this is a stitched uh jersey i'll try to get as close as possible so you can see Jameis winston when he was our quarterback there's the metallic uh, uh, lo uh shield logo with the flywire remember that guys yeah the flywire here's the stitch number three up front so this is legit. It's a real one. So it's called a Nike uh, Nike Vapor Limited Player versus just a Nike uh, Limited Na Vapor Limited. Okay. The difference is, guys, this is essentially the same style of jersey that they use for the game jerseys, with the mesh breathable holes on the side. Can't really see it with this light in here, but with the mesh breathable holes on the side. And then, of course, uh, the material that they use for those game jerseys, it almost feels like the fitment is better. These ones, when you order a large, it's going to be a large. When you order an extra large, it's going to fit like an extra large. Versus on the Vapor Limited, I feel like you have to order a size of one size up to get the fit that you're really looking for. Because they are true to size, true to fit size, okay? Um, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. Um, so that is a Jameis Winston Nike Vapor Limited Player jersey. Okay, stitched, got the Nike swoosh on the side with the patches, and this is a pretty cool jersey. I like this one. I really do. This, the uh, ship storm logo, they left a uh, patch they left on the side. That's the same one they're using on the pewters, uh, same colorway and everything, which there's the pewter there, there's the creamsicle orange. But again, very nice, old flywire, very nice, uh, uh, older style jersey. Thought it would be pretty cool. Guys, it was only 65 bucks on... Uh, on uh, Fanatic, so I jumped on it, man. I said, dude, I'm over here spending money. Why not? Let's get one, get me one of them. This is, mind you, after I had gotten everything I wanted to get as far as these other ones are concerned. Uh, sorry, don't mind the background noise. Ladies and gentlemen, it is WrestleMania Saturday for you wrestling fans out there, so I have that on in the background. Anywho, two-day uh, two event this year. Anyways, that's for another time. Let's get a quick swig of beer. Go Bucks. I did purchase a couple of koozies. Yeah, I know. Silly, right? <laughs> one with the state in the background and the, yeah so okay cool 
Um, check it out. We are now moving on to a game jersey. Rob Gronkowski. I ordered this in an XL because for whatever reason, I don't know what I was thinking because prior to this jersey, I had purchased a large uh, Tom Brady, which fits fucking fantastic. But for whatever reason, I thought uh, maybe I should go a size up. And I did with this Rob Gronkowski game jersey. This is a game screen pressed, everything screen pressed on here. He pressed, however you want to say it. Uh, white NFL uh, rubber uh, shield on the front there. Not the fly wire like the old school ones. Uh, here's the jock tag, XL. Guys, I'm going to bring it up close so you can see. This is the real deal. If you notice on some of these other jerseys, and I try to I try to distinguish the difference between the DH gate and the uh, real jerseys. Guys, if you, the dead giveaway on most of the jerseys, on these uh, real ones, let's say, for example, on the screen-pressed game jerseys, look how thick the lettering is on here, okay? That's normal. On the DH gate jerseys, it's almost, the lettering is almost always skinnier. I mean, I can show you, uh, we will. I'll show you one of my Vapor Limited. Yes, the lettering is skinnier, but you can tell the difference between the lettering on these DH gate jerseys, because I've seen some of these come from DH gate, and it looks damn near identical, but when I look at that lettering, it's a dead giveaway. So that's how I usually can distinguish right away if I had to take a quick look at somebody's jersey. I look at the lettering first to tell if it's a game heat pressed, DH gate, or fake, whatever. A lot of things you can look at. Um, so that's a Rob Gronkowski game jersey, extra large. Right after that, we have ourselves a Nike Vapor Limited, not player, Nike Vapor Limited Mike Evans. So this is a stitched uh, Mike Evans. And I'm sorry, with that Rob Gronkowski, before I get back to this, guys, hold on a second. Let me show you. The Rob Gronkowski I just showed you along with the uh, Mike, or excuse me, Jameis Winston. They both have that mesh side, mesh breathable hole side. This is the same type of material that this jersey is, and that's all it is. A Nike Vapor Limited player jersey is the same type of jersey as a game. It's just stitched with the, the Vapor, obviously, versus game, okay? Same material jersey. Nike Vapor Limited stitched. No heat pressed, different material, no breathable holes on the side, NFL metallic logo, and yeah, guys, I sometimes like to leave my tags on, and if I do rip them off, I'll tape them back onto the hanger. I know it's silly, but I just like, I don't know. I have it for certain purposes, and I'll let you know about those later on. Side patch for the Mike Evans. Everything is, I mean, magnifico on this guy, okay? There's a real NFL Vapor, excuse me, NFL uh, metallic logo. Uh, it's got the mesh uh, upside down triangle deal there. Look at the lettering, guys. That's that's the real deal there, okay? Sorry, I know it's kind of hard to see as camera angle's horrible, but nevertheless, that's my Mike Evans. I need to get this in a road white jersey. That's what I'm after next, okay? So, with that being said, let us now move on. Right after the Mike Evans, we have a Tom Brady Nike Vapor Limited. Okay. Metallic uh, shield, logo shield in the front with the mesh underneath. Okay, real deal. This is probably one of my favorite, being that it's the home jersey and, of course, being the GOAT. Tom Brady is my favorite player of all time, guys. Uh, as you can see, the Y in the back. Same thing was on that Mike Evans. Tom Brady is my favorite player of all time. Yeah, he's. You know, I'm not a bandwagon. I've loved Tom Brady his whole career. I've never rooted for the Patriots, but I always followed the guy. I thought he was elite, top of the top when he came here. I freaked the hell out, of course. And I bought all his jerseys. Jock tag, one more thing. I always forget to show the jock tag on these things. I love the jock tags on whatever for whatever reason on the Vapor Limited. The jock tags, they have the rubber NFL logo shield, the uh, NFL Players Association logo. It's like a rubber. And the, the jock tags in general just always look a lot nicer on the uh, Vapor Limited. Okay. So, four down. Now moving on to my first Brady that I purchased. Tom Brady... Uh, road game jersey, heat pressed, heat sealed. Okay, 
uh, the white NFL rubber shield on the front there. Sorry. But look at the lettering. Once again, game jersey, you can tell right off rip. Okay. Boom. Everything is heat pressed, but it's a beautiful jersey. This one actually fits great. This was the large that I told you I had originally got. And for whatever reason, I thought I needed to go up a size with the Gronkowski when I should have just stayed right here. And that's another funny thing that I need to bring up with sizing with Fanatics. And I don't want to say just Fanatics because this could happen with Nike, buying from Nike. This could happen from the NFL shop. And this could happen even in the NBA shop if you're ordering jerseys from that. Why do I say this could happen with them? Because guess what, guys? I don't know if anybody's noticed that these are all coming from the same warehouse, factory, whatever you call it. They're all coming from the same place. So guess what? When they have one or two left in stock on the Fanatic site, guess what you're going to see when you go to the NFL shop or the NBA? The same shit. It comes out of the same warehouse. So um, that's another thing I wanted to bring up. The sizing sometimes, I'm just going to jump ahead with one of these jerseys. This is my last game jersey. I have more to show you. My last game jersey. This is a heat-pressed Mike Evans. There's the white NFL uh, shield, a rubber shield. He pressed Mike Evans, right? Also a large, but for whatever reason, and I can't show you much here in this closet. Again, I have very little room. This, the Brady is like, dude, it's bigger, <laughs> okay? But they're both larges. So I told myself when I bought this, not knowing much about, you know, what I was doing when I first was buying these. My, this Mike Evans was like my third jersey that I ever bought. But thinking, I'm like, oh, when I order the pewters, I'm going to have to just go a size up because the pewters are smaller. I guess they just make them smaller. Bull crap! That was just a sizing issue. Um, I don't know. So yeah, that's what happened there. But that was a heat pressed Mike Evans. Let me go back to it since I already pulled it out. Heat pressed Mike Evans, jog tag large along with that Brady. Same thing. Look at the thickness of the letters, guys. That's a game jersey for you all day. Okay. Which again, these are all authentic. These are all real. But it's just a dead giveaway when you see a lot of these DH gates. Not nothing against the DH gates, guys, to who's to whoever their own. Those, these DH gate jerseys, they look great. When you look at some of these jerseys that they bust out, they look great. I have a, I follow a guy on YouTube. He he constantly he's always doing reviews and he's always saying something like, "Is this a DH gate a great or a DH hate?" And it's a hit or miss. It's a 50-50 when you order from these guys. But uh, for me, I, I just, I've never been able to pull the trigger on them. But again, I, I just like to tell the differences because it's just something that, I don't know, I feel like people struggle with as far as being able to distinguish a real and a fake. And of course, again, I don't care if you got a fake. If it looks the part, it looks the part. Ain't nobody going to call you out. And I'm not going to sit here and make fun of you. So we're, 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 especially my age, guys. I got kids. I got a family to support. We can afford what we can afford to support, okay? Pause for one moment, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, moving on. We have a road... By the way, this was the last one of these that they had in stock, and I had to get it. I can fit into an extra large or a large. This one happens to be a large. But um, a Chris Godwin Vapor Limited large. There's the metallic logo. Shield logo. Dude, this jersey is magnifico. Listen, um, I bought this jersey the day after, or the I think it was the day after he re-signed or extined, signed his extension to stay with the team for another three years. I said, dude, now that he did that, I have to get a Chris Godwin. I originally had plans on getting a game jersey, um, but I said, you know what, screw it. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, the Vapor Limited. He signed for three years. He's going to be here a while. He's going to team up with Brady, and we're going to do the damn thing. This is a top five receiver, in my opinion, guys. I love Chris Godwin, top-notch receiver. The man's going to make some things happen for us here in Tampa. And he loves the Tampa Bay area. He's clearly said it several times. But uh, there's a good look again. Guys, this jersey is absolutely phenomenal. I love the way that this jersey looks, feels, everything about it. Okay, so that's a Chris Godwin. Moving on. Get live, full five. Big Devin White, guys. One of our outside linebackers or just main linebackers. I'm not 100% sure metallic shield logo with the the uh chassis uh we call it thing in the middle there lettering i forgot to point that out on the uh chris godwin but there it is 
Vapor limited, a little thinner, but it's because it's stitched. Okay. NFL ship uh, logo, the Nike swoosh, everything is, is stitched on there. Nothing heat pressed here. Bingo. Nike Vapor Limited, guys. Again, it's just the material in the jersey that they're using. I am getting very hot. And that's probably because I'm standing right underneath this light bulb. But uh, moving on. So I already showed you guys the Mike Evans. That would have been next. We are on to our last jersey. My favorite jersey. This jersey took me a while to pull the trigger on because I honestly didn't know if I wanted to get it. I wasn't too fond of the pewter jerseys originally, but I started to fall in love with them as time grew, uh, grew on, and, and especially seeing Tommy Boy in, in one of them. And I kept telling myself I wanted to get it. I originally had plans on getting this jersey uh, the day before I had left to the Bahamas. I went and took a trip to the Bahamas for a week with the wife, and instead, because they kept selling out so fast of these Brady's, I ended up getting a Devin White, and I had it overnighted because I didn't want to wait too long. Um, because I wanted the jersey before I left for the trip. Well, anyways, I ended up purchasing the Brady back when I got back. Um, they ended up restocking, which I'm amazed they restocked so quickly. This jersey, guys, I don't know what it is, but they just, people just buying them. Anyways, here it is. In my opinion, this is my favorite jersey. I think this is the cleanest jersey I have ever received from Fanatics. You could not be more perfect on the job that they did with this jersey. I'm talking as far as the, the logo being straight, the NFL Shield logo being straight in the middle. The numbers are so clean. The numbers pop on these pewter jerseys, guys. I'm just telling you. But everything was stitched to perfection on this jersey. I don't know what it is, but I am infatuated with this dang jersey. It's an XL and I just feel like it's the best one in my collection, and I just feel like it's because they did such an excellent job uh, making it. But uh, that's my uh, my last one there. Uh, one of the pewters, I'm probably gonna end up getting, it's like I said, uh, I've mentioned in my other videos, a Gronkowski in the pewter or maybe an Antoine Winfield. Not 100% sure, but I need another, another pewter, um, and that's what I feel like is going to, uh, it's, I feel like it's gonna be one of those players. Um, I do have more stuff I can show you guys. A lot of it is just uh, sweaters and long sleeve that I've purchased, but I think I'm going to do that in another video. Matter of fact, I'll show you one now. Salute to service 2021. Um, it's just a long sleeve. Guys, this is probably just as good, if not as cool as the, this Tampa Bay Colors, um, as, the, as the hoodie that they put out for every team. Every team has, also has one of these long sleeves, and they... Also, on every team, they put their specific colorway on the bottom of the uh, shirt or long sleeve. This has like a creamsicle black, red, and white, I think, on the bottom there. Um, but nonetheless, I thought it would just look cool. But when I actually got it, I was like, man, this feels great. It looks better than what I thought it was going to be. The patches I thought were going to be heat sealed. This is like embroidered on. This is great, man. And they stick out. It's perfect, bro. So, of course, I ended up getting this along with... I didn't get it along with, I should say. I ended up getting the hat a little bit later. But I ended up picking up the Salute to Service uh, Flex Fit style, even though I like to get my fitteds. I still might get the fitted, but being that it's a 2021 hat, they might change the style next year.